Nadir in Schaumburg, Illinois. Nadir. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Thank you. What's going on? Uh, yes, sir. I, I came here in 2015 uh, with a DV lottery. Uh -huh. And then in 2018, I was arrested by the police and charged with a uh, uh, misdemeanor. And then... Uh, what, what, what was the misdemeanor? It's a, a, a fight. Okay. An assault. What, and, and what were you found guilty of? Uh, it's still pending. Okay. It's still, uh, yeah, You came court. on DV lottery and... Um, uh, yes, sir? You came on DV lottery and you got, and you got um, an assault three years later. Yes, I came with the right. DV uh, and they had... I have a green card, 10 years uh, green card, and I'm married here. Right. Yes. Uh, so my question is, uh, can I apply for a citizenship yeah. because I already have five years? No, because you have a pending criminal case right now. So if uh, you have a pending criminal case, you can't show good moral character until it's resolved. So I need to wait? You need to wait and resolve your criminal case, hopefully in, 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 in a way that doesn't affect your immigration. Uh, and then? And then hopefully you can show good moral character and file your citizenship. But no one's going to make you a citizen when you have a pending assault case. Okay, so, so uh, after, uh, uh, can I call you back and so you can help me up with that? I can't be your criminal defense lawyer in Chicago, but I can help you with immigration. Hold on. Let's go to Priyap in India. All the way from India. Priyap, how are you? Hello? Hello, hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, hi. What time is it in yeah, India? I'm good. What time is it? Yeah, I'm calling from India. What time and is good it? Good morning. It's in the morning? Yeah, it's a 4.30. Oh, 4.30 wow. early morning. Good morning. You need some more sleep at 4.30. Good morning. But good morning anyway. Yeah, What's going I'm... On? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, we were in Phoenix 2017 to 2019. Me and my wife and my daughter and... <clears throat> And she is a L1 visa, I'm a dependent visa. Uh, uh, in 2019, we got denied my our exception. What uh, visa exemption. I, uh, we got denied the L1 exemption visa. The, oh, you got denied the L1 extension. Yeah, was yeah, it your you right. Own yes, you right. Was it your own business or you're working or your wife was no, working she's, uh, else? Uh, uh, yeah, work, uh, yeah, working in IT. Okay, so why did it get denied? Um, why did it get denied after she came? So, so that time I was I was I was in India. So she didn't ask any question to the USCA. She she came back to US within a, within a seven days. I, I I didn't understand. You had an L visa, and then it got denied. And you, what? Your wife came back to India to pick up a new visa. India. Yeah, yeah. And she, she got yeah, denied she came at the back. embassy. Yes, you're what right. What was you're the right. reason that they denied her at the embassy? What was the reason they gave her for denying her at the embassy? Uh, he, he, they didn't give any perfect reason. They gave like uh, uh, some electrical problem, yeah, some electrical document problem. Uh, you can apply for <coughs> re appeal also. They mentioned okay, like that, like know. that only. Right, so, all right. So, that's not, there was a reason why your wife got denied. We don't know the reason. And, yeah, yeah, we and, don't know the okay. reason. And and your question is what? What should you do? Yeah, my question is: Is this uh, possible to re the uh, because the L one visa maximum pre period is five years, but we completed three years only. Well, yeah, as so long as as long as, as long as as long as you still can prove you can reapply again. But you know what you uh -huh. don't what you don't want to do is reapply and not figure out why you got denied the first time and walk in and get denied a second time for the same exact reason. But you can always okay. reapply for an L visa as long as you can qualify for it, which is uh -huh. you work outside of the United States for one one out of the last three years for a company okay. that is uh -huh. substantially owned uh, by by the foreign company is substantially owned in the United States at least fifty percent by the same owners. Uh -huh. So as long as you have one okay. out of three in India for the same company or similarly owned company in the United States, yeah, you can reapply again. I'm just, my concern is why'd she get denied? We have no idea. We should figure that one out first. Awesome. Yes, All right, hold buddy. on one second. Adam in St. Louis. Hi, Brad. How are you? Good. How are you? 
Good. I was calling because I had filed an I-130 back in February of 2020, um, the middle of the month, and I haven't heard anything back on that case, but I called and they said that it was transferred to the local field office in April. Who are you April. for? Are you a U.S. citizen? A spouse, yes, okay. U.S. citizen. And where is your spouse? Here in the United States. Okay, and you only filed an I-130 and that's it? Yes, because um, they're not legally here presently. What status are they in? How did they come to America? Um, crossing the border. Okay. So you need to get the I-130 done and then a provisional waiver? Yes, and I, but the thing is, I keep checking the status and it's almost been a year, but there hasn't been any updates and I don't know if that's normal. Well, it's, it's in, in this time it's normal, in past times it's not. Uh, so right now it's taking 14, 15 months to get an approval. But uh, what you may want to do after one year is threaten what's called the mandamus to bring legal action against the government for violating your rights and trying to get a visa petition that's immediately approvable taking over a year. Okay, and then after they do approve it, what then, happens? Then it's going to it's gonna go to the National Visa Center. Then she has to do what's called the provisional waiver to go home and come back. Uh, and that takes okay. another year. So, I mean, we're looking at a while. Now, a lot's going to happen over the next three months. So everything I'm telling you right now may be completely different in three months from now. Okay. All right. They may bring back right. 245i, which is pay a penalty fee if you came in without inspection and adjust your status here. Who knows? Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.